So this is where your pattern becomes really important. What we're going to be doing is doing kind of a pink and red checkerboard pattern wherever there isn't a, wherever there isn't a word. So you want to be really careful here because this is very hard to fix if, if you messed up. In fact, it's impossible to fix. You have to kind of start over. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to start in this top corner because there's no word here and I want to basically start my checkerboard from here. And you can either start with your pink or your red, it doesn't really matter. Um, and you're just going to want to fill that first square in. Now this is fun because it's just going to make this cookie, especially when it's finished drying, super, super vibrant. And what I like to do is mark my pattern as I go. So I know what I've filled in and what still needs to be filled in. And you can either go one square at a time and switch off colors, or if it's easier for you, depends on uh, what's easier for you to visualize, you can do all one color and then go back and do all the next color. But like I said, if you kind of mark it as you go, that's really helpful. So I can see I've got two more before I get to the point where my word begins. So I'm just going to fill that in. Okay. And then the next one has three. So that you see there is a letter where there would be another red. So we're going to skip that and go ahead and put that pink in. And keep working our way over. And there's four there. Then there's one letter, which would be pink. And then you go back to your color, which would then be another red. You just want to keep in mind that you, when you're doing this is you want to pick a corner to start in and just kind of your, work your way down and all in one direction. So I'm just going to give it a little tap like we did before just to make sure that the, all the bubbles come out and that our run sugar gets down into the corners. And then we'll keep going. <laughs> 